back to my channel. Today I have a very special guest, my mom. Hi, it's so <laughs> fun to be here with Haley. <laughs> Welcome to the YouTube channel. She hasn't been on in a while. We haven't been traveling much, but it is Mother's Day today since you guys are watching this on Sunday. So I thought it was appropriate to bring her back on. So today we're gonna be playing Never Have I Ever. I made these cute little cards. One side says I have and one side says I have not. You guys have all sent in questions for us. Most of mine will be I have not. You guys have all sent in questions for us and uh, we're gonna read those questions. So we'll take turns, I'll read a question and then we'll both answer. And then you'll read a question and we'll both answer. Sounds great. <laughs> this is gonna be so much fun. <laughs> we have a little Vuv Rosé to loosen Judy up for today. Um, she is, are you nervous? No, not at all. This is so much more fun than everything I normally do. Why are you just holding up I have not? Because she didn't tell me you were gonna <laughs> down. Okay, so I have a list of questions that you guys sent in. Mm -hmm. I'll read a question first and then we'll both answer and then we'll go back and forth. So you just pick any question you want, I guess. It's gonna be scary. All right, so we'll start easy. Have you ever met a celebrity? Do you count? <laughs> I'm just kidding. We both count. Okay, so that one was easy because I feel like you all knew the answer was yes. What, what if we say like the best celebrity you've ever met or the most exciting? Okay, my best celebrity I've ever met was probably Will Ferrell at the US Open. Like that one was, I was really just cool. I was say mine is Rafa Nadal. That doesn't, you like, that what totally about Andre counts. Agassi? Well, that I even better. Too. That one was great too. They're both, both tied for past and present. And Mike Feist for me. I've only ever cried one time meeting a celebrity and it was Mike Feist and half of you won't know who that is, but that's okay. Meet most of the cast of Hamilton and had a chat with them, so that was very exciting too. I would but like to meet, I was so close to meeting Leslie Odom Jr., remember? At the, oh, at the Tonys, I was so close. But so the answer is we both, I have. Um, oh my gosh, wow, some of these questions are not good. <laughs> 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 you guys, what are okay. we asking? Never have I ever been drunk in Epcot. Oh. Because I'm the chaperone <laughs> when she's, she's drunk <laughs> with all her friends. How many times? Like 30? How many? You've never been drunk in Epcot. I've never been drunk in Epcot. Okay, so my mom doesn't really I've even been, drink. I've That's been with fair. very drunk people in Epcot <laughs> many, 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 many times. What about, who was the drunkest person you've ever been with in Epcot? It wasn't me. No. Yes. I think Hope's friends got pretty drunk. They weren't as bad as me on my birthday. No, Haley. <laughs> Haley wins. <laughs> have you ever snuck out of the house? You have. I have not. You've never snuck out of grandma's house ever? No. In New York. You've never once snuck out in high school. In no. New York? It was scary. We didn't sneak out. Now I stayed out later than I was supposed to and didn't come home when I was supposed to, but I never snuck out. You couldn't sneak out. We had dogs that would bark, and there's just no way to get through the You're windows. You're making me look like a delinquent. I only snuck you out like- You are a delinquent. You <laughs> snuck out all the time and never okay. told me. Yeah, my mom never knew. I found that I out snuck years out. later. Except the window, she <laughs> broke the window and it was dropped down. I couldn't set the alarm all the time. I was too scared to sneak out so until I junior knew, year. I knew it was bad. I didn't sneak out until junior year, and my mom thought that I was smoking in my room, so I, opened the I would open the window, which I was never smoking, especially in high school. <laughs> She thought I was opening the window to smoke in my room and Heather told me one day, she was like, mom really thinks you're smoking in your room. And I was like, which one is worse? Like smoking in my room or sneaking out? <laughs> the sneaking out freaked me out totally. And, and I, I never did it when you were there. She would leave the window open. I never did it when you were there. She left the window open. Well, I, that's great. She did it for her grandmother. Yeah. Poor, poor lady. <laughs> <laughs> I would never sneak out dad in the house either. That would have been so scary. So definitely sure. grandma. Have you ever used someone else's toothbrush? Ew. It's a definite ooh and yes. <gasps> Who's? I'm not gonna tell you who's. Only one time? person how or much, more? No, how much time do we have? <laughs> ew, I would never. Are my friends and I, back in high school, used to share a toothbrush, in college we used to Why share. Why did you just go buy a toothbrush? Uh, uh, well, Time, convenience, emergency, run, go, nobody cared. <laughs> we shared everything. Okay, next question. Have you ever been on TV? Yeah, you have twice, right? Or more than twice? Four, five, six, seven, eight times. <laughs> okay, the coolest time though, do you know what I'm gonna say? Um, at the US Open? No, okay, I've been on that. I mean like you on TV. Like I've been on the background of a tennis player, yes, so I have. But 
with fresh beginnings. Yeah, you were on QVC, which was cool, but the time you were on E. That oh, was the best. <laughs> I was on E with um, Tim. Yeah, you were with on Tim Tebow with Timmy and like and Demi <laughs> at Night to Shine in Beverly Hills. I got Hills. so many. I don't even know that everyone watches E live because I just like watch it sometimes and then I have it on Instagram. Everyone was sending me my mom on E News in the background, like with Tim. And I was just like, I can't. But that was pretty cool. And okay. I was on TV with Shaquille O'Neal. That was fun. But what? the U.S. Open. <laughs> what? Do you, have you ever had sex in public? <laughs> Happy <laughs> Mother's Day. <laughs> <laughs> no, you haven't. No, you have not, Mom. Where? I'm not telling you that. Many times. I gotta go. Peed your pants from laughing so hard? Yes, what? Never? I've never done that. Okay, no. the time at Grandma and Grandpa's, you know that video that's like infamous of me and like Hope Wrestling in the hallway? Yes, I do. I paid my pants a hundred percent that day. Like on? I think I told them. And grandpa just looked at me like I was a crazy person, but did you pee on Hope on the floor in the hall? Probably. <laughs> this is like two years ago, guys, so like I'm not even sorry. I have something funny. <laughs> have you ever gotten a secret tattoo? <laughs> So tell me. <laughs> well, now you know about them, but they were two. My first tattoo wasn't a secret because it was for my grandpa. So that one she knew about. All the other ones, no. Well, you know now. Are you sure? <laughs> the two after that, you didn't know about, but then I told you after. One of them, I think you just saw by yourself. And then the one we got like the week before the wedding, <laughs> I wasn't a secret, but like <laughs> you were helping me change and I was like, just so you know, I got a tattoo because <laughs> I was scared you were going to see it without me telling you. You don't have any tattoos? No. Nope. I'm a virgin. None. Had stitches or been to the ER? Okay. I've been to the ER, but I haven't had stitches. What did you go to the ER for? Other like the ER. Like what was the emergency? I've been to the ER several times. I've had a long life. So. But like for what? What was the memorable one? Oh, well, the memorable one was a bad accident, so I don't really know. You had a bad accident? Well, for me, it was a bad accident. I was on the track team in school. Like in high school? No, in college. And we were running what? in this strange place that had wood platforms that were like in this rear place. The platform gave way while I was running, and I literally fell through it and was stuck in it, and my whole what leg... What happened? I mean, I was stuck. Did you have stitches then? Yeah, it was horrible. So you've had, so both, you've had stitches and been to the ER. I've never had stitches. I went for barnacles in my foot. <laughs> the barnacles was really bad. <laughs> it's really bad. And then, oh, I got a concussion from like tubing, but that's it. I think that's the only two times I've tubing things. Oh no, I went when I was little too, right? My bee sting. What about the time when you slammed into the dock on a that's when jet I, that's, ski? I didn't go to the hospital. No, but she definitely had a concussion. You were just trying to talk about my concussions now. <laughs> no, I was trying to talk about when she slammed into a dock on the jet ski. It wasn't a dock, it was a pole. It was a pole at the dock and she slammed anyways. straight into it. Have you ever gone to Europe? Uh huh. We've gone together and yes. you've gone a lot more than me, but. Well, we've gone together many a lot of times. times with the family, but the one time we went alone was on 11-11, which is our family thing. It's our good mm -hmm. luck and our family unity. And we went to Paris. And we went on November 11th on the anniversary. It was just us, and we're doing it again. For Sorry, Veterans Day to honor my dad, her grandpa, who was a World War II veteran and hero. It was so and fun. we went to the spot where he was when the war ended. When the war ended. And he helped liberate France. In France. Yeah, it was cool. We stood on the exact street on Veterans Day. And then we went to Italy, because that's your favorite. Yes. Is Italy your favorite? Paris is my favorite, so we went to my favorite first. And then once I talked her into going to Paris, she was like, only if we go to Italy. And I was like, pull my leg. Sure. <laughs> she loved Italy. The food is great. Pull my leg is And the people are great. And the history is great. All right, New York girl, have you ever hopped a turnstile? Mm. Never? No, 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 no. Okay, well, no. Kyle did. You guys, it was no, so no, no, no. bad. Don't do that. Yeah, no. <laughs> that's like not New York etiquette. And we were at a Mets game, and Kyle bought the pass, and it wasn't working. Like, really, it wasn't working. We had the pass. 
he tried two times and I think by then it like ran it two times and it was not working and I was like let me go get someone to help you and then I turned around homie just hopped over the turns and I was like oh my god like I wanted to run never ever they will come get you and it is not fun no it was they will bad. hunt you down I was embarrassed for him and other New Yorkers saw me and then definitely knew we were tourists and not living there and I was like blowing my cover have you ever forgotten a family member's birthday? Mm, I don't think so. Nope, could not. That's not like a main family member. That's like, like family sin. Do not do that. I remember all the birthdays and I honor I'm pretty everybody good at birthdays. and celebrate everybody and usually host the party. Yeah. If I don't know the birthday, you send it to us before. So we don't really forget. I never forget it. And I make the whole world come celebrate with us. So celebrations are highly regarded. I'm the birthday queen. I if you've got a birthday, send it in to me and I will send arrange, it into her. You guys. I will arrange the celebration for you. <laughs> Have you ever talked to more than one guy at a time? Like back in the day, did you talk to any guy, multiple people at the same time? Most definitely. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> I never dated. I never oh. dated more than one guy at one time, but to like, like you know what talking is like before you date. Okay. No. no. What did you mean? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> what did no. you mean? Keep the field wide open. Have you ever done hard drugs? Are you looking at mine? I have. <laughs> I'm making sure. <laughs> Should I believe her? I have. Anybody out there? Are we calling hard know? drugs like anything other than like weed? Like that's not hard, but like anything. <laughs> So anything other than that. I'm not an expert on this subject. Anything though. other than that. So was I guess I that not. means that you're no, eliminating no. that one. Yeah, that's not a hard drug. Okay. That's like grown and natural. I don't know. I don't know what a hard drug is. I'm assuming it's like you're shooting something or. Well, like. Like. Like cocaine. Have you done cocaine? No. I'm not gonna... <laughs> so you want to change your answer? No, I don't want to change my answer. <laughs> this is my answer. Have you ever gone skinny dipping? <laughs> Love it. I highly recommend it. Mom! It's so fun. Come on, you all. If you, you haven't all, gone. You all. She is such a New Yorker, you all. If Come you on, you all. If you have not gone skinny dipping, you are missing out on one of the greatest things in life. Me and Kyle only did it on our honeymoon when it got dark. Like, yeah. so other people couldn't see us, but we were outside. Sounds very romantic. I've done it in the daylight. I've done it in the dark. That's a very scary smile. Never have I ever had a one night stand. Never have I ever had a one night stand. Mom! <laughs> I can't tell you who. I cannot call Wait, out you that person. No. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, I have not. I did it the same guy since yeah. junior year. Have you ever gotten a ticket? And this is a double question and they're very different or been arrested. I'm more interested in the arrested. Okay, Have you ever so been arrested? No to the arrested and I think you would know. And yes to the ticket. Okay. And I was tell me about it. your ticket. Wait, you know about my ticket? I called you in the car and cried. I remember my speaking ticket. Yeah, so That's tell us. <laughs> tell us all about it, Kaylee. I actually was really good about also getting out of tickets. I got out of two tickets. Just by like pretending to cry, and then I, I don't tried think she was it. pretending. By the way, I think she was full on crying. Yeah, possibly. Okay, so then yeah. the first ticket and only ticket I've ever gotten, not gotten something, was last October. In October, right before the wedding, I was driving all the way to Alabama to surprise Kyle. Remember for our anniversary, I had left work at like one o'clock. We were gonna get, I was gonna get there in time for dinner, and I was kind of rushing, and I didn't have a license. Remember. My license was lost. Yeah, it was just a rough time. You got a ticket. I can't remember. So if I've gotten a ticket, it was back in my previous life that I just don't even remember. I honestly don't remember. I probably got a ticket somewhere along the way back in New York when I was a new driver. Like a parking ticket? I'm sure you got one in New York. A parking That's really ticket, count, okay. But... Well, yeah, definitely a parking ticket. Never have I ever stolen something. I have not. Wait, what? So I am just being honest. Legally, that I, I have not. No, I have not, but I know that I was a child back in the previous century, <laughs> and so I'm assuming that as a child, I probably stole I was gonna say I have, like from my but sister's But other closet. than that, no. Well, that's not stolen. <laughs> no. 
Okay, you guys, that is Never Have I Ever with my mom. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you loved this video. Make sure to like below and subscribe to my channel. Where are you looking? Just touch your hair. This is where you're looking. You touch your hair. Look, all mom. The time. <laughs> Why are you roasting me? We haven't even started. That's why. Okay, so I have a list of questions that you guys sent in. I'll read a question first and then... <laughs> okay, your turn. Rafa, call me. married. Multiple different viable men. Stay away from the unviable ones. It's just always a deal breaker. 